In this video, I want to demonstrate how to replace duplicate values with blanks in Microsoft Excel. To do so, I'm going to use this data set over here. In this table, we have a total of two columns. The first column is order date, which is a series of dates which are ordered in ascending manner. And in the second column, we have the order numbers associated with these dates. So the objective here is to get the first instance of each unique order date. For example, we have four values for January 1. We have four orders that took place in January 1. We only want to see the first unique occurrence. In other words, we want to see January 1 here, and we have three occurrences of January 2nd. We only want to see the first unique occurrence, which is this value. And same with January 3rd. We have three values, we only want to see the first one. In other words, these are the values we would like to see. January 1, January 2nd, January 3rd, January 4th, January 5th, and January 6th. We only want to see these cells that are highlighted right now. And we want the rest of them to show us blanks. Now, doing this is rather simple, and we can do this with a simple formula. Here's the formula that would give us exactly what we want. Now I'm going to apply this formula to this table. And to do so, I'm going to create a new column. I'll name that column order date. And I will apply this formula to it. So it's going to be if count if a1 to A1, and we will reference lock the first A1, and I'm going to explain exactly why we did that a little bit later on. So here is our formula, and you can see that uh, this formula has already returned the first unique instance of a date that has occurred in this column. Now here's how this formula works. This formula basically goes through all the cells that are above, that are located above the cell that we are referencing and checks if this value has been already repeated or has already occurred. If it has already occurred, we get a blank cell. If it hasn't, we will get the value for the referencing cell. So you can see that January 1st in this data set, this, this is the very first occurrence, and it has correctly been returned using this formula. Now, in order to show how this formula works on the other cells, I'll go ahead and drag it down. So you can see we have received the exact same cells, which I just highlighted a few moments ago. We received the first instance of each unique value in column A. And for example, here we have a blank cell. And the reason this, this cell, has, the formula has returned a blank cell here is it, this formula basically went through cells A1 to A2 and checked if this value, January 1st, has already occurred. And since it already has occurred, it, repeat, it returns a blank. And that's why we need the reference lock here. Make sure, in order to make sure that the values all, all the cells that are above this cell are being factored in into this calculation and being checked if this value has occurred in all the cells above it. And uh, similarly, when it comes to January 2nd, this formula goes through all the cells above this particular reference cell. It goes through the cells A1 through A5 and checks if cell A6, that is January 2nd, has already occurred in this data set. Since it hasn't, we will, this, this cell has been, is being returned. And once we get to the second occurrence, a blank is going to be returned. And this is giving us exactly what we want, the first instance of each unique value in this column. And this is how we replace duplicate values with blanks in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.